Welcome to a short tutorial on how to use CareNet's BYD Live tablet app. My name is Cindy Hopkins and I serve at CareNet as the Vice President of Center Services and Client Care. It's my pleasure to give you some information about this exciting new tool which is meant to help women and men that are making pregnancy decisions and are considering abortion. Since we know that the majority of people who have abortions are in their 20s, the app is designed with millennials in mind. We know that they appreciate real-time information. We know that they prefer visual learning with hands-on practice. And we know that they don't process in a linear manner. This app is not meant to replace conversation and relationship building. It would be appropriate to use with a client after a relationship is established and at an appropriate time when education is shared, similar to when you might share a print resource. In fact, it complements CareNet's Before You Decide resource, which can be given as a takeaway to reinforce what the client will learn on the app. The app is an interactive experience. It uses short videos to educate. It has various activities, and it has conversation starters embedded in the application. It can be used on both Android and Apple tablets, and there is a full list of approved devices on the CareNet website, along with the annual licensing fee. So let's go ahead and start by showing you some of the features of the BYD Live tablet app. So you're looking at the home page right now. The first thing that you would need to do is start a session. To begin a session with a client, the first thing you would do is touch the white rectangular icon in the right-hand corner, which will take you to a Start Session screen screen where you would pick whether it's a male or a female client. We are going to go ahead and pick female and start session. It takes us back to the home screen. It's also important for you to know that this app doesn't collect any identifying information about the client. Another important thing that I wanted to mention to you is that it interacts with the EHD Little One Pregnancy Guide app. So it's important that you have that app also on your tablet. And I have that app on mine, so it's little one and you can download it from the App Store or the Google Play Store and it's actually free. So you would have that on your tablet also. So let's go back to the BYD Live app. Okay, now we're on the home screen of the app and you're going to see a, quite a few buttons on the left side. And I'm going to try my best to help you understand what each of those buttons, what it's useful for. But really, again, it's an educational app meant to help educate somebody that's thinking abortion is their solution to their pregnancy. So there's a couple ways to use the app and I'm going to start with the simplest way. As a client is sharing her heart and telling you why she thinks abortion is her best option, of course you're going to want to educate her on all of her options. And really, a client has two options. She can abort or she can have the baby. And you'll see those two icons on the home screen. So you could simply ask the client, I want to talk to you about both of those options. Which one do you want to talk about first? So let's say she wants to talk about abortion. So you would tap on the abortion icon and you would see the screen that says, how far along are you? Of course, we can't tell her about abortion until we know an estimate a due date and how far along she is. So that's where how far along you are would take you to the pregnancy calculator. And we would ask her for the first day of her last menstrual period. Let's just say her last menstrual period guess is November 5th. So we'd say done, and it would show that her due date is Thursday, August 11th, and her estimated gestational age is six weeks and five days. There's two things we can do at this point. We can save that to her own personal file folder, which I'll show you in just a moment, and then we could ask her if she would be interested in looking at some pictures of what a baby at six weeks in the womb would look like. If she says yes, she would like to see that, we click here for images. At this point, you would just slide the cursor to six weeks, showing how far along she is gestationally. And at that point, she can tap the play button and see a video of a baby in the womb at the same gestational age she is estimated to be at. After that video is finished, you can push done and return to the BYD Live app. Now to do that on an iPad product, you'll first have to make sure you've gone to your general settings, chosen multitasking, and turn it on. This allows you to go between apps simply by swiping with four fingers 
to the left and will take you right back to the app that you were at. Now on an Android, you just simply use the back button, which is on the front of the tablet. So we've learned that she is six weeks and five days. So we now want to talk to her and give her information about abortion. So we would get the facts. Now this is our video gallery. And these are the videos I mentioned earlier. They're short, no more than five to seven minutes for each video. And they're appropriate for the gestation age that we know that the client is estimated to be. So she would simply, you would simply choose the video. This is the medication abortion. It gives a little bit of an overview about what a, what a medication abortion procedure looks like. It's at her discretion, she can watch by tapping the button in the right-hand corner, a board-certified OBGYN explain the abortion procedure to her along with the risks associated with it. This would be a good point for the client to hold the tablet so she can hear and listen. She could also be told that she can close the app at any time if she doesn't want to watch the video by touching the close button in the upper right-hand corner, which would take her back to the previous page. Very easy way to educate a client about the abortion procedure. And next we would talk to her about what it is to have the baby. And as we can see on the screen, there's four options, single parenting, co-parenting, marriage, and adoption. Depending on what she wants to discuss first, you have the option of picking. Let's say she wants to talk about marriage first. We have some quizzes. We have some fill in the blanks about her partner. Is he the one? We have what's in it for me and other activities to educate her and give her hope surrounding the notion of marriage, the option of marriage. So again, two ways to use the, the app. We've looked at one way, plain and simple. There's two choices, abortion or baby. Another way to use the app is the question mark, the question icon. You'll see it third down. I'm going to tap it now. And this is loaded with the average questions that a client might present with if she's thinking abortion is her solution to her pregnancy. So this would be a time where you could actually hand the app to the client and say, you know, we've talked to lots of women that have found themselves in situations similar to, you, to yours. And these are some of the common questions we hear. Why don't you go ahead and tap the questions that you might have, and we'll make sure during our time together that we get answers to those questions. So she can pick one or all of the questions. And as you can see on the screen, we have 21 questions to choose from. So I'm just going to randomly pick a few to show you how it works. They gray out, as you can see, just by tapping on them. And where they actually end up, is in the client's private file folder where all those questions are displayed. Now one thing we didn't do when we looked at her estimated due date, and I'm going to go back and show that to you now, is we, if you remember we had November 5th was her last menstrual period done. We looked at the images, but we didn't save that to her folder. So I'm going to do that now. So when we go back to her folder, her estimated due date is there for you, and you don't have to forget what it is. And then as you walk through each of these questions, they will take you to different pages, sometimes a video, sometimes an activity, sometimes just a conversation starter. So now we're in her personal file folder, and we can see the questions that she chose. And it'd be very appropriate to ask her which question do you want to have answered first. Let's say she chooses question 16. What if I can't raise a child right now? Which takes us to a quiz about adoption. Test what you know about adoption by selecting true or false for the following statements. This is meant to educate her and help her understand some of the myths and misconceptions that surround the adoption adoption option. When she's finished with the quiz, we can go back and learn more about adoption and then eventually back to her question page. The idea would be that all of her questions would be answered throughout the session. Again, I want to emphasize that this app is not meant to replace conversation. It's not meant to be used in a linear manual, so you're not going to start at one point and end up at another. It's really at the client's discretion on how often you use it. There'd be times when you might just put it aside and converse with the client, and then a time when you would pick it up depending on what she wants to talk about. 
if you went through the entire app, it would take you probably over an hour. So it's not meant that you would use everything in the app with each client. You would customize it. It would depend on what questions and what things she would want to talk about that would dictate how it's used. One important feature of the app that I want to point out is the heart button. You see that third from the bottom. The heart represents the gospel, the heart of really what we do at our pregnancy centers. And it takes you to a bad news, good news presentation of the gospel that many of you recognize from Save the Mother, Save Her Child. And it's always there for you to use at your discretion whenever a spiritual conversation comes up with the client and you want to use this tool to present the gospel to her. It's not meant to be used with every client, and it's not meant to be used every time you present the gospel. It's just there for those people that would find it helpful. There is an exit button. You'll see that. And this is information to help us understand how impactful this app has been with our clients. It's called a before and after assessment. I would use it simply by asking the client, when you first came in, you seemed very bent on having an abortion. So if I had to scale you on a one, two, or three and show her the app and say, I I would give you a three that you were planning on having an abortion, would you agree with that assessment? That gives her the opportunity to say, well, yes, I was planning on having an abortion, or no, I really really wasn't sure, and then she can tap the number two. And then asking her, well, where are you now? And letting her tap the number that represents where she is now in that decision. Prayerfully and hopefully she'll choose one, and we know that we've made a difference. The next button takes her to an exit survey. The exit survey just asks some basic questions to help us understand how effective the app is in impacting a pregnancy decision. When the client is finished, she would hit submit, and all of that information would be put into the cloud the next time you're connected to the Wi-Fi, and CareNet would collect it. We'll use this information to help you understand how impactful the app is, and also to make future improvements to the app to help it be as effective as possible. Now that we've walked through the basics of the app, let's just do a quick recap of all the icons on the home screen. Let's start at the top. We see the personal file folder, and this is where his questions or her questions will be stored, and also an estimated due date and an estimated gestational age. The next icon is the calendar icon, which takes you to the pregnancy calculator. The third icon down, the question marks, where all the questions are stored, the most common questions that we hear at the pregnancy center. The next icon is the abort icon. We'll learn how far along she is and then where she can get the facts about abortion. The next icon, the options surrounding having a baby. Next icon, it looks like a video play button because it takes you to the video gallery where all of the short videos are housed that could help educate her on the abortion option. The next icon is the heart, and we can always remember the heart as being evangelism. The good news is the heart of what we're doing at the pregnancy center. Next is the exit button, which takes them to the before and after assessment and also the exit survey questions. And lastly, the bottom icon is simply the home screen. It will always take you back to where you started. So we hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. Again, I think the best thing that you can do is play around with it, touch all the buttons, watch all the videos, do all the quizzes, and really educate yourself on all the features of the app. And then once you're ready, we're excited for you to share it with your clients because we know it's going to make a difference. God bless you in all that you're doing for life at your pregnancy center.